Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, happy to report. Um, this is my MateBook X Pro. Um, I'll show that with the camera. I'll turn on the flash so it's better visible. There it is. The camera. And there's a Apple logo sticker back there from the bottom. Anyway, so this is a Huawei MateBook X Pro 2018 edition and um, there's a, a big sir working on it and so far to my experience it works pretty much uh, just as how Catalina works uh, nearly perfect um, here are the here's the information on it you can see uh, everything does show up properly display it's working with graphics acceleration um, so I started in this screen unlike uh, usually when I usually I start turned off, but um, this time I just turn it on to show that the touch screen works. However, I just disabled it, so next time I turn on restart it, it'll not work anymore. So yeah, this is a touch screen Mac uh, with like the gestures and whatnot. Um, if I go five finger, there it is. Yeah, it's really strange having to do the gestures, unlike Windows, where you can just use one finger. But yeah, it works. Um, I'll do the second part after it's turned off to show just turning it on and others. Okay, I'm kind of done waiting for Xcode to install. It's taking forever, so instead, for now, I'll go to set up my audio, which I haven't set up yet. Uh, so I'll try to type out audio, MIDI setup. I haven't shown this in a previous video, so I figured let me just show it in this video. Um, I go to the add, create multi output device, and um, uh, built in output, select both. Uh, I don't know what these mean, but I go ahead and just cl click it. It seems a, like a higher number. Um, that's it. And then I kind of want my uh, sounds to be on my menu bar. To do that, I just go. Uh, sound uh, output and just max out the output on both and generally I'm just watching YouTube so I'll just use the YouTube sound reducer but I don't know if there's an app that can change multi -de uh, multi device uh, output I if I knew there was one I would use one so I just click show volume on menu bar so it shows up there although in um, the new version it's kind of irrelevant because it's here anyway um, yeah, I should. I'm gonna just go ahead and just turn that off because it's kind of irrelevant now. Um, so far, what I think is like uh, it looks kind of goofy. The new version. I'm not a big fan of the new look. Anyway, um, let's uh, shut down. So this video is basically a redo redo of the video I made about Catalina 15.10.15.6. Oh, but Big Sur, it seems to work just the same on both versions. Uh, there might be things I'm not noticing and some other placebo effects. Uh, but so far, what I see is like it works pretty much the same. So I'm going to click the power button. And Huawei and Open Court comes up and I get a few options. Recovery 11 and the name of my uh, partition where I have macOS. I'm going to click that to boot into macOS. It only takes a few seconds. It takes a little longer than Windows does. When it's about double of what Windows takes to boot up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my password in. Everything just looks so big and goofy in this new version. I, I'm not a big fan. I haven't set up iMessage and FaceTime yet, but I'm pretty sure that works. Um, and again, I bought my Mac. Everything should be working here uh, and shows up properly. Um, what else? I'll just show, uh, demonstrate the sound once again. It is pretty much the same. Um, let's just go to no copyright music.
I'm not connected to the internet. Okay. Um, so heliport, I think I didn't set up to launch at boot all the time. Uh, let's see. Open network preferences. There should be an option to start it at boot. Um, I'll figure that out later. Uh, now I'm connected to the internet. The new Safari also, like everything's so big, I, I'm not a big fan. So this is max volume, I believe. And for a, sa a sample again, let, I'll switch back to just uh, two of the speakers instead of the four, sound and internal speaker. I think this will be the down lower speakers, which are more lower end. Never mind. I think that's the tweeters. So only the upper upper two speakers are turned on. Um, and let's try the other one, internal speaker, and play it again. There we go. Now these are the bottom speakers. And with having both of them enabled, or all four of them enabled. It sounds way more full. Uh, okay, what else can I show? Um, Wi-Fi is working uh, and Bluetooth is working. I tried some uh, um, Bluetooth earphones, they do work. Um, before I remember, once upon a time, it, you'd have to like turn it on in Windows, come back here, and then there was Linux, and finally it just straight up works in here. Um, and finally, I would want to show something else that uh, I had a big mistake, so the battery wasn't working, so I went ahead and reset up the whole uh, Mac OS. So in, if anyone else is trying to do this with Big Sur, uh, this is beta 5, I'll uh, just show that once again. Never mind, it doesn't say that here, but if you look up that code uh, on the internet, it'll say it's beta 5. Um, I'll go ahead and show what a mistake I did and uh, how you can avoid that. So, uh, on his GitHub, Prof. Say, again, uh, I didn't do any of this. So all the work is uh, thanks to the Hackintosh community and Prof. Say. He's kind of maintaining all of this. Uh, so, this is all, all the work and hard stuff that I don't really understand. Uh, so to get Big Sur, I just go went to down to here and then uh, right here. And this has a guide to how to install Big Sur uh, from another Mac or from a previous Mac. But um, I, when you click, uh, there's the EFI, right? Uh, yeah, new new Big Sur compatible EFI. If you click the um, just click it, it'll bring you to a file. And I use that for installation and for post installation, which makes some stuff wonky. For example, in system preferences, the battery is not battery, rather it says uh, power saving, which it said in Catalina. But uh, I didn't realize if you go ahead and copy the link instead of uh, just opening it in a new tab uh, and go to a new tab and paste the link, and you'll notice it says uh, the file name. I just went ahead and uh, removed the file name. And you'll see it has a few extra files there. So um, so you're supposed to use the install during install. And after you're done with the install, you put the post EFI in your uh, actual machine. Um, yeah, this is the latest one, the one above, because the other one is two months ago. Um, yeah, I had a big mistake. I ended up resetting my Mac. That took a whole long time. Uh, and now the battery thing works. And I believe estimates also work, but they might not show immediately. I think it takes a little bit of time uh, to show up properly. Uh, just like in Windows, actually. But yeah, it, it's working very great. I was confused at first because um, 
without the post install uh, zip, uh, post install EFI, it always turns on with verbose boot, so like black screen with text, um, and also turning off. But now, if you see, if I if I shut down, um, it'll shut down like a regular Mac, pretty much. No text on the left. It's just black screen, and little spinny thing and these things light up and it's off yeah thank you very much uh jazakallah khair i'll leave a link down below to the to the little area on how to make the install but again this is beta software uh, beware uh, of installing it uh, yeah thank you very much have a great day assalamu alaikum